Hello everybody, welcome to Break and Remake. I'm your host, Joan. Today we're gonna to be making this cool waxed canvas bag. And guess what? I'm using the canvas that I dyed with natural dyes. And look at these belts. These belts are from the Goodwill. All right, let me show you how to make it. Now I'm going to overlock the edges to get some of my fuzz off. The pattern is darker on this side, so this is going to be my right side. So I'm gonna fold this in half and put my right sides together. And then I can go sew up my edges of my bag. I'm just using a half inch seam allowance. Let's press our seams. It's gonna be tricky to get up in here, that's fine. This smells like onions. Ooh. <laughs> I've split the seam allowance and just ironing one side just so I have a nice crisp edge down there. We're gonna use my favorite tool, the seam gauge. We're gonna set it at half inch and we're going to fold down this edge half inch all the way around to make a nice clean finished top of our bag. I've put my bag inside out or right side out because it was giving me too much trouble. So now I'm gonna do a three quarter inch fold for my second fold. So there's my half inch. Now I'm doing three quarters of an inch. I'm gonna stitch along this edge. I don't wanna stitch too close to the edge, like right on the edge, because I don't wanna have just threads holding it down. I wanna be an eighth of an inch away. So go slow, be careful, I believe in you. There's where my onion laid when I was doing my natural dyeing. We're gonna pinch the end of the bag so it's flat like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch the end and kind of draw it up. And then we're gonna sew along here to make a slightly open bag. So just have to make sure that your center line here lines up with the center fold. You can't really see the center fold. I see my center fold, so I know I need to move it over. You just wanna make sure that this is equal to this. And then I'm gonna do it an inch from the edge, so it's gonna be like right in here. So I'm gonna go across right here. I'm gonna sew through all the layers to make my little flat bottom. Now I'm gonna mark the other side and then I can sew. I've got my gusset started. I'm gonna sew right across this line, making sure everything's flat. Now we have a nice little boot for our bag. Now this has a little flat edge. It'll hold itself open while we fill it. Yay! We're gonna wax this and then we're gonna attach the straps. We're going to wax our bag. I've got my tried and trusty recipe. I've got three parts carnauba wax to one part beeswax. I haven't tried a vegan recipe yet. If you're interested in a vegan recipe, let me know and I'll do some tinkering and find one. When this wax is melted, I'll slowly start painting this on and then we can press it into the fabric. The carnauba is really crunchy and the beeswax is really soft. So together they make a really nice combination of waxes. Once that melts up, we can start spreading it. You wanna be careful not to let your wax smoke. So you wanna be Goldilocks. You don't want it too hot. You don't want it too cold that it hardens up again. You want it just right. It keeps running while you're applying it to your fabric. Just keep fiddling with your apparatus, whatever goo burner you have it in. Just gently brushing this on, trying to get as much surface area before my brush hardens up again. Ooh, I should be wearing an apron. Did you mean to wax the outside of the bag? Yeah, that's how you wax the bag, is the outside. If you watch my other waxing videos, you'll know how obsessive I am about covering the pressing area. I put a towel down, I'm putting muslin down, I'm covering my bag with a muslin, and I'm covering that with a towel. Now I'm ready to press. Use lots of steam and your bag will absorb the wax. It's pretty magic. Here's the big reveal. Whoa, looking good. Looks like I skipped a section here. So this is how it turned out. It looks really good. It took forever, but that's okay. There's a couple little spots where I think I might hit it with a hairdryer just so I can directly get it hot and make the wax melt. I like it. Let's go do handles. So I found these two belts at the Goodwill and we're gonna take these two belts and make them into our straps for our bag. Let's cut them up. I'm cutting the belt underneath this tab. That way I can have one flat belt to measure. And then I can get this side ready to sew and this tab will cover over it. I tried to pick belts that were pretty done with life. This one for sure was done with life. So I'm gonna cut these at 19 inches long. I can make holes in this so I can sew it onto my bag. You can use a blade or you can use an awl to poke your holes. I'm gonna go ahead and use a blade because I think that's what you guys have at your house. I'm gonna mark one hole half an inch above the edge. I'm marking this on the wrong side of the belt. 
And then I'm gonna do another half inch above that. I'm gonna do these two holes and then I'm gonna make a hole for here. I'm only gonna do one hole here because I don't have enough room. So I'm gonna cut a plus sign where my hole is. There, that's gonna help me sew this down. I'm gonna set my straps five inches from the edge of the bag. So that blue line is where I line up my strap. So this side's gonna go here. I'm gonna stitch that down and this side's gonna go here. It looks pretty cute as a little handle. I love it. Okay, let's get stitching. So I've already poked my holes. I'm using a fairly dull needle to go through everything since I know I can get through this. I'm coming straight across, going in the fabric, coming up through that hole again. Coming up through, going down. A little off, that's okay. Coming back through, going to the side, and then we're gonna tie it off. You can make whatever pattern you want, but that's just what I'm gonna do. And then, let's tie this off. Take a bite of the fabric. Make a loop. Bring the thread up, bring the needle up through. Got my second loop started, bring the needle down through. Make a pretzel. Oh, my pretzel was not, was a little lopsided. We'll do it again right here. Up through the loop, make another loop, down through that loop, pull it tight, and then hide your thread. It looks like I almost did it on purpose. My bag is done. The stitches look a little wobbly, but I think they'll hold. I'll let you guys know if like they rip or if something weird happens to them. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. It lets me know that you like what I'm doing. See you next time. Bye. And then I know that you know, we know. <laughs>